Why a vehicle doesn't start can be a complicated question, but in many cases we have to start our diagnosis with some of the basics. And so there's basically two things that we look for first, and that is does the vehicle have spark and does it have fuel? Those are probably the two most common uh, reasons why a vehicle doesn't start. So on this vehicle here, we're going to do our preliminary checks to determine if that's one of the reasons why it doesn't start. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hook up a fuel pressure gauge to the Schrader valve uh, test port on the fuel rail. And that, that way, when we turn the ignition on, we'll be able to tell if the vehicle actually has fuel pump operation. Of course, that's very important. As always, when dealing with gasoline, uh, be careful not to spill uh, the gasoline on anything hot and keep a fire extinguisher close at hand. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to, we know that you know, this will prove whether or not the fuel pump works. We need to know whether or not the uh, computer is sending signals for the vehicle to inject. So I've disconnected one of the wires um, from one of the six fuel injectors on this car. And I'm inserting a little test light that's called a Noid light. And this way, when we crank it over, we should get some indication as to whether or not that signal is being sent. Lastly, we need to know if the vehicle has spark. So what we're going to do is disconnect one of the spark plug wires from a spark plug and we're going to install a spark tester and uh, see whether or not it has spark. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, crank it over and see which one of these things that we have. So first off, we'll just turn the key on and see what happens. All right, so you're going to need to focus on that. Ready for that shot? It came up to 40 PSI, hopefully. And you got that with the movement. When we turned the key on, it came up to 40 PSI, and that indicates that the fuel pump works, and that should be enough fuel pressure to actually have this start the vehicle. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to crank the vehicle over and we're going to check and see whether or not the Noid light blinks and that will give us some indication of whether we have a signal uh, coming from the computer to uh, turn the injectors on and off. The Noid light blinked and that indicates that we're getting a good signal from our computer indicates the computer is probably conscious and so that's a good sign.